Hey, hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Finally doing another makeup video. I've been working my butt off at the farm. Um, I do the uh, jewelry videos at night so you don't have to see my face like this ah, all the time. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do a makeup video today. I have been influenced by Miss Leanna Dalton. She has uh, a dragonfly challenge and I'm making you a surprise, Leanna, but it won't be up till tomorrow. And that's the last day of January, so I think I have one more day. Anyway, if anybody uh, has not heard of Miss Leanna Dalton, please go to her channel. She is a fabulous artist, a fabulous person, very talented in her makeup. She has some great looks. She's just a wonderful person. L-E-A-N-N-A-D-A-L-T-O-N. And I will put it down in the description below. I learned how to do that. I'm so excited. Anyway. So today, her challenge was to make a dragonfly. And the colors I have on, this really bright lavender color, aren't things that I normally wear. I normally wear black, dark clothes. I don't know why. Probably to disguise my figure. I always had issues, and I'll tell you, my first husband, who's a complete asshole, and I hope he's burning in hell right now, or maybe he'll be tortured till he's 100, told me after we had our first son that I was ugly, and I would never have anybody, and ha ah. Anyway, I always had body issues after that, and um, so uh, internal, I mean, I never said anything. But I always try to disguise my figure. Um, and so today I have this purple thing on and with my turquoise. So I'm going to do some blues and purples and all these colors right here on my jewelry. This is lapis with gold. So I'm going to put some gold in there. I have like 18 palettes over here. And turquoise color, some other blues. This is like an opalite gold. And over here I got turquoise. These are real turquoise. They're all different. See how pretty the turquoise is. Just like all of us. Each of us are beautiful. Hmm? But we're all different. Okay. This is also lapis lazuli. And these are these little... Um, in Chinese lore, they're little... I think they're... I'm not sure. It starts with a P. Anyway, they're really cool. So this is my color palette, kind of. And I'll add as I go... Um, so welcome and one more thing bienvenidos a mi canal um, muchas gracias por venir uh, ojalá que te guste el, el contenido content of este canal y uh, le manda muchos uh, besos a toda mi familia ahí en Guadalajara y México y te extraño bien mucho ok let's go so first I'm going to put this thing on my head which I do not like to do but you know what that's all right. We're all friends. Because it messes up my bangs. Don't like to have my bangs messy, but oh well. Such is life. I have been in the hoarder house from hell for the last two days, right? It's our farm. And somebody, I will not mention who, has squatted there for seven years. And it wasn't an, also an animal hoarder. So, they left excrement and all kinds of goodies for us in this huge house. I don't know how, 5,000 square feet. So, anyway, we've been cleaning. And um, my eyes were so swollen this morning. I have had stuff coming out of my eyes for the last two days from going in there. The fumes are horrendous. Sorry, guys, I'm being very graphic, but this is life, you know. Anyway, um... So I put the, uh, I used uh, Visine eye drops. I don't think it helped much, but I used my ordinary uh, caffeine for under the eyes to shrink puffiness. And man, I don't normally have puffy eyes, but today you can already see them. They're a little slit. My husband said, who punched you? <laughs> anyway, so the ordinary, it's not called caffeine, but that's what it is. Take a picture. Okay. And I'm going to do my regular routine. If you want to zip by this, that's fine. I'm going to be blabbering as we go. Um, so I'm going to do 
Sukiada Suhada. I'm sure that's wrong again, like I said, but it's from Amazon. They have it, it's Korean, um, it's Korean skincare, but this particular is for this and this crepiness. I use it for moisture and man, it does such a wonderful job. And I, that's my prep before I put on anything. It just looks a little drop. And uh, this is like essential. Oh God, I'm almost out. Good thing Amazon keeps a list of what you previously ordered. I could never spell it. Anyway, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, and I hope that you've been watching my jewelry videos. I know that sometimes you guys don't cross over, but I love both. So they're my passion. Like I said in my first one, makeup is derived from gemstones. Gemstones are derived from the earth and our creator made all that good stuff. So it's, I think it's really cool that I have since I was a little kid, I was a rock gal. So that's why I'm doing this a lot because that's why I combine the two. Oh, by the way, my hand lotion, I'm smelling delicious today is Kaya Ali. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but it's a vanilla 29 hand cream. It is so beautiful. And you can see I have like Two squirts left of this. Kylie Vanilla 28 perfume. This baby is my favorite in the universe. You smell so good, it's just unreal. And this does do it justice. Sometimes the hand cream of a perfume does not smell like it, but this. Mm. So in here, I am very beautifully aromatic. Okay, so I got this, and now I'm gonna do my eyelids. My eyelid primer, I'm sure you're probably getting tired of it, but I'm gonna tell you again. It's Anastasia of Beverly Hills Eyelid Primer, Eyeshadow Primer. It only takes a little drop and you put it on your this finger right here. And that's it. And then I do this. And then I do this. And it evens out uneven skin tones that gets your eyes ready for eyeshadow. And I didn't know anything about this a year ago. Any kind of anything. I used my same stuff for <laughs> forever. I didn't know about, actually, I didn't know about YouTube having these kind of channels. I was so thrilled with it. One day, I asked YouTube, because I used it as a help me, like help me cut a... a any any corner for cremoli or outie corner. I would ask those questions. My husband used the same thing for mechanical stuff and things like that. Well, one day I asked YouTube, how do you care for orchids? Because I was given an orchid for Mother's Day. And YouTube showed me a channel that the lady was an orchid specialist. And uh, she told me how, but underneath, I saw a makeup tutorial video and I went, what? And that was it. that's it. I was hooked. And my husband said, you could do that. And here we are. So anyway, okay. So I got that. I got my eyelid primer. Now I'm going to put my primer on. And it's the e.l.f. primer, as usual. Which one be wet? There. Oh, that's the powder. Stop it. E.l.f., this is well-loved. E.l.f. primer. I like this the best so far. If anybody has any other suggestions please let me know i have bad scarring right here here because when your face sags they it stretches the pores which is how rude right <laughs> so i put it there and then i work it into my entire face it's very moisturizing very nice i i love the way it feels on my skin I really want you guys to try to visit Miss Leanna if you already don't. I, apparently she's on Instagram. I don't know how to do that yet. Um, but she's posted a challenge for January and she's gonna be doing a challenge every month. She's always very inspirational and I would highly recommend that you check her out. But she mentioned it yesterday, I think it was yesterday on her channel all the days are running together as <laughs> we went out there breathing horrible fumes anyway so uh yeah please check her out okay 
after my primer. I guess I'm gonna do Charlotte Chilberry again. I think this is number, yeah, this is number seven. This color, but I also use True Skin and I can't remember what color. It's a cool, I think it's called cool. Come on. Oh no, it's called cashmere. Yeah, it is called cool, cool cashmere. Okay, I have to mix that because I put this on first and it was okay. And then when I tried it out a little bit, a tiny bit orangey, but not that much. I liked it a lot. I put, I don't use much of a little dot like that. Okay. And you know, my older skin is different than y'all. If y'all are younger, you have smooth skin so you can put more makeup on. When I was doing modeling, they put pounds of makeup on me, but I had smooth skin. It didn't matter. So there's the difference in the colors, all right? And I have my beauty blender right here. Moist, it moistened it, dried it with a little towel. It's still moist though. I love the way this works. So I'm gonna mix the colors up like this. Pick it up in my blender. Sometimes I pat it on my face first, but this time I'm gonna do it this way. See how it works. And the reason I'm, I have so many bracelets on and my necklace and my earrings and stuff is to show you the different color hues and my shirt. <laughs> Cause that really, I had a turquoise shirt on. I said, okay, that's too much. Let's put another color in. Purple is my favorite color. All shades of purple. I like the blue purple rather more than the violet purple, but I love all shades of purple. I told you guys before, I, my whole house used to be purple, except for the den and the poor. <laughs> Even purple saran wrap. I really like the way this, man, my eyes are still messing up. Man, chimney cricket. I'm sorry, guys. I always have to have a Q-tip. My eyes have been like shedding junk from that horrible house. Not my blood, I promise. Okay, it smooths out really well. I always try to take it up here so it blends. Just, you know, you don't wanna have a line right here. In the summer, it's different. Uh, all I could, I get really, really, really brown, like a chocolate bar um, in the summer. I know that's not good for you, but five minutes out in the sun, and that's what I am. That's my phone. It's a house phone. I don't answer it because I don't answer it. It's one of the minions. I'm not answering. You have minions? We do. They're all over the place. All right. Next, I'm using Sephora's Contour Palette. I know it has a name. Sorry, guys. I'm blind to that. Palette Contour Contour. Okay. It doesn't have a name on here. If it does, I don't know where it is. And I always keep my tweezers over here so I can get into these. Here they are. These things, if you <laughs> if you have nails, like I'm gonna get my nails done someday, but I use go like this with my tweezers and just turn them and it unlocks the thing. You don't have to break your nails. I was so tired of breaking nails and ripping my nails off. So, okay, I got this little brush. And it's uh, from e.l.f., one of my first brushes I got, pack. And I pound in these two colors right here, this one and this one. And then on the plastic that I kept, with, that way, I load the brush. It's called loading the brush. So I'm not beating it. I don't have fallout hardly ever because I do this. Just pound on this. Okay. I squish it. I'm going to start here come here my normal contour of my face has dropped because my face is sagging 
so I'm all, this is called sculpting. I said before, Hollywood is the masters of illusion. <laughs> and yeah, I got a five head too. So if I didn't wear bangs, this would be very useful, but I'm doing it so I could show you how this contours the shape of your head and really changes the shape of your head, especially in pictures. If you're going out in the daylight, I would suggest not using lights like this at all, sitting in a natural light, because it's totally different uh, than doing that in here. Like, even in my bathroom, the light's terrible in our restroom, terrible. And I'll have to go to the front door in a natural light situation to make sure that I don't look but made up for pictures. Because there's a whole different way you look. Okay. This will calm down. I promise. Okay. I don't like this thing. So. It goes away. Just go like that. And it goes away. And. Right there. I don't like it. I banish you from my kingdom. There. Then I just pull it down. Nice jawline and down. I'm so, oh, I want to really say thank you to all my subscribers. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, I'm in the 60s already. I've been doing this two weeks in a day. So I'm really excited. I'm so, ex I'm so excited. Can't believe it. Um, I was so grateful. You guys, if you watch the makeup side, you need to go to the jewelry side because I got some rock and uh, jewelry boxes on opening uh, openings. Check it out. This is bling bling stuff from Wet n Wild. And I will be blinging myself out. And also, I use this for under my eye and right here. So I do that right now. But first, I shall do my cheeks with this fan brush from Laura Lee Los Angeles. The pink ones are all Laura Lee's, okay? When she first came out with her brushes, I tried them. I liked them a lot. There's a hair. There's always a hair. <laughs> if I didn't lose hair rapidly, I would, I don't know. I have fallout all the time. I, I sweep piles of my hair up and I don't know why I have any hair in my head because most people shed once a year like a puppy and this stress makes me shed my hair. I don't know about y'all. Really? Ta-da. I think I love this too much. Anyway, what are you going to do? I can't edit so, you know, we're all friends. Okay. I'm going to check over here and do this. I got some squirrely eyebrows, y'all. Mary and Joseph. Looking in the magnifying mirror after two days of not wearing any eye makeup. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got some squirrely eyebrows. Anyway, I was working. so I still have my lipstick and my earrings on. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but, you know. Then I'm going to put them right here. And I've tried other stuff for this. This stuff really works and it stays on. I've done the video or two here. Then we've left and gone out and come home. And when I take my stuff off at night, it's still there. So... As far as I'm concerned, this stuff is rocking right now. I'll try anything new if you have any suggestions at all. I love new stuff. I don't... I'm going to have that put tape on there. That's not right. Okay. Next is the blush blush. And I'm still using LA Girl. 
glam. So I'm going to be glamming myself up. Then we'll get to the fun part, the eyes. That, I love that. I mix these two together. If y'all are just new joining me. That noise is the plastic thing. Yes, I keep them. <laughs> I'm weirdo. I start up here. Because I never know how much color I have. And then I just, I just put it on lightly. Get some more. Pounce it in. I'm not loading the brush. I said that before. But I'll keep saying it. I thought about this as I was making my spaghetti sauce today. My, you guys from New York called gravy, Northern New York or whatever. My sauces, my dad was a Sicilian. So the Northern Italians or anybody not from Sicily called Sicilian sauce, garbage sauce, because we put all meat in there. We put all the meat for the week in there. Pork chops, hamburger, steak, chicken, Anything we put in there, okay? My dad cooked it on Sunday, this giant pot that was this big. I had to stand on a stool to help him while I was so little. And uh, it was good for the week. Then he was a truck driver, so he took off. And we, had, we took the meat out. Anyway, over the years, I made it for like 100 people. Then it got down to just me and my husband. So what are you going to do? So I thought, you know what? My son, my oldest son, he knew how to cook my sauce. This is my dad's recipe. There's no recipe. It's a, my oldest son knew how to cook it. And he did. And he served his neighbors a lot. Always invited people in, just like I did. Well, my other children didn't learn. So maybe my grandchildren by this video, or not this video, but the one I'm going to make will be able to say, hey, that's my Mimi. And she's showing me how to make grandpa, Goomba. That's what he called him, so Goomba sauce. It's our own, it's our family. And when I go, the recipe goes. So I figured, hey, I can put the camera right in front of the stove. I'll show you how to make my secret sauce. And then I'll show you how to make cannoli. I'll show you how to make bread too. So I could do all this stuff. I have fun on this thing. This is a fun stuff. So now I'm put this elf powder I know I'm all over the place today, but that's okay. I don't care. So I put some in the lid. I don't put a lot, just a little bit. Then I love this big fat fuzzy brush, a fluffy brush. It's it's flying. I can see it with the light. I don't care. And I get it loaded up real good. And then start here. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that trick on the nose thing again. I'm trying that. I did it like two times already. Let me try. So anyway, you might have a, oh, this is the color I used to. I can't see it, but y'all can. What? <laughs> see, right there, okay. So I can show you how to make that stuff from scratch. Um, and it's on videotape, like I said, so my grandkids and great grandkids will have a record of it because I can't write it down. You got to see, you got to look in the saucepan. You look, my dad said, you have the right amount of spices when you can see evenly garlic and the oregano and the basil, thyme and all the other goodies that he put in. But if you look down and you see the red sauce and all the spices are in there evenly. And then you, of course you have to taste it with bread. So too much bread, it makes you have big butt. That's why <laughs> I don't do that. I have to taste it with a spoon now. It's terrible. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to do that thing on my nose. That's what I said. Okay. Like I said, y'all could speed this up. It's okay with me. I'm not going to hurt my feelings. I'm chatty today. So I'm going to take this little liner brush. See that? This is a little bitty liner brush. And I'm going to put it in this one and this one. Just a little bit. I'm going to try to do that nose trick again. Everybody's doing this thing. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it in this mirror that's right in front of me. 
And then I'm gonna look in the in the magnifying mirror and see what the heck am I doing. So you make a this is what they're doing. It's called a hack or whatever. It's just sculpting your face. Like I said before, in the business, Hollywood, modeling, whatever, movies. They don't like your face, they just change it. <laughs> the way they want it, it's so weird. Okay, now I'm gonna take the other brush. But I think I'm supposed to go more in, right? I don't know. Because they're having like little tiny noses when they get done with this thing. And like I say, this one I would do for pictures and lighten it up just a little bit for outside or go by outside light, uh, natural light, okay? See that? <laughs> That's funny to me. I just push it up and pull down, okay? I haven't looked in the magnifying mirror yet. Everybody does different. There's gotta be some bling powder left on this thing. So this is what they do. They've been, I've been seeing everybody doing it. So let me try. <laughs> okay. No, that's no good. That's no good. I love my magnifying mirror. Boy, it doesn't let you make any mistakes, I'll tell you. Okay, there I am. Now I gotta put my eyebrows on and then I'm gonna do my eyes. Because remember the eyebrows frame your face to your eyebrows. Okay, please, please do your eyebrows. I do it always before my eyeshadow. Now I forgot one time. It looked funny and I wondered why. It's because I hadn't done my eyebrows. I didn't have a frame for my artwork. Okay, artwork. So I start here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to the side. Begin, well, well, I'll try it this way, I'll try. Remember, at the corner of your eye, straight up is where you start your eyebrows. <laughs> not this way, not that way. Corner of your eye. Everybody's corner of their eye is different than everybody else's, so straight up. Don't watch somebody else and do what they do because their eyes are different than yours. Take your corner of your eye and start. I, I do the color on the bottom because I let the spoolie drag it. Okay, then I'm gonna have to turn this way. And then I go out, all right? I got a little wild, but I go out because if you drag your eyebrow down, it makes you have droopy. Just me. I gotta try that gel sometime, the, the gel that y'all are using. I don't know what it is, I'll find it. To see if that helps with my unruly eyebrows. God, they're awful. I know what that stuff was, butch wax. That's what you guys are using. <laughs> Little boys used to push their hair up when I was a kid with butch wax, that's what it was called. Go figure. Cause that was a butch cut, I guess. The little boy haircut with shave, not shave, but real short and they had little hair up here and they stood it straight up. It was cute. My brother had that. A lot of things were different back then. Well, I got, you know what, if I, if I didn't have some scissors in here, I'd be cutting me some eyebrows. Good grief. They got the gray ones coming in. Holy mackerel, like this one right here? Oh my God. Okay, this one's out. Sorry guys. Nope. Got it. <laughs> that thing was cray cray. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so there's my frame, right? Now I do, I have, don't laugh too hard. All these palettes I'm gonna be using today. The first one is Cara Duo, okay? It's very beautiful. It has so many colors. I want a choice when I'm doing my dragonfly. Look, so look at these colors. <laughs> okay. Next, that's the one that has that broken black thing. Next, I have LA Girl Hot Heat. Hot Heat. Like Hot Couture. And I have lost my tweezers. Oh, I got a knife. See? Open. Open says me. And these are the colors in here. <laughs> okay. That's why I chose that. And then the next one is another LA girl. Fierce and wild. That's what it's called. Then there's my tweezers. LA Girl Main Stage. There's the colors. Can you see that? There, I'll open it though. Denise, why are you using all these old pals? Well, why not? I have them. Look at that color. Okay, then next I have Milani Gilded Twilight. Look at those shimmers. And then next I have, oh, I have it in the box. I have High Tide by ColourPop. I love these things. Look at these. This is the bomb right here. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Mixed up with all that other stuff. I'm gonna use all of them. And then this is called Baroque by ColourPop. This is beautiful. Shimmers also quit it. Look at those. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use all those. Why, Denise? Because I want you to incorporate a lot of color with hopefully I won't get mud. I don't think so. And I gotta choose. A transition color. Every time I put a palette down, it shakes the, the um, mag magnification or the magnifying mirror. I don't know, maybe that one. Shut it, give me crickets. Or it's hard to see. I'm see trying to see the um. That's a shimmer. Ooh yeah. Okay. That's a shimmer. I'm see, on my transition, I usually use non-shimmer. I will find one. Let me check this Caradura. I'm gonna use this one right here. So non-shimmer. And this one right here. It's a pinky. Possibly no, nope, that's a shimmer. Mm, possibly this one right here. Or this one right here mixed together. I mix like three or four or five colors together in my transition because I like to mix them. Uh, I'm not finding the right color, whatever. 
I could use, um, yeah, everything goes. I could use these over here in the um, Pearson Wild palette. Here and here, they're non-shimmers. I might pounce in there. This one too. This is not shimmer. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm going to play. All right, let me find my bigger, fatter, fluffy brush. If I knock my camera over, I will scream loud. Okay, so let me get some of this. You can't see what I'm picking up, but I showed you what I was picking up. I like a interesting transition color because I like to make inter interesting looks. So I start here. I don't know what kind of color it's going to be, how much is on there. You see that? A little bit. So I just go in. Remember, I got crepey eyes. I'm 68 years old. Uh, so I have to be careful because of the crepiness. And if somebody would know what causes crepiness and how we can prevent it, I would kiss them. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. It's... The, the weird stuff about your skin as you get older is, I don't like it at all. And I'm fighting with all my heart. I'm not gonna age gracefully, hell no. I'm gonna look like this until they lock me up in the nut hut or the old age home. I will not cut my hair. Cause this is me. Somebody says, oh, you're over 40. You should have short hair. I uh, think so. I'm over 40 or I'm over 50 or I'm over 60. I'll do what the hell I want to do, right? You ladies and gentlemen, remember to let yourself be worthy of your life. Okay. I have to say that. I have to say that. Because there's some people that don't feel like they're worthy because other people have hurt them. And it upsets me because I was there. Like I said, my first husband, the asshole, <laughs> said I was ugly. <laughs> He knew I wasn't, but people like that, they browbeat you into thinking something that you're not, okay? How's that for a transition color? Ooh, I got some pink with a little bit of lavender in there. Oh, I like that too much. I know this might be crazy, crazy for y'all. Dare to be different. Dare to do your own thing. This is playtime because if you don't like it, all you gotta do is get a white beat or one of these things by Wuma. All you do is you take the little pad, you activate it with water. I cut mine in half and it takes off your eye makeup. Boom. Because it's embedded or what do you call it? Infused. That's a word. Infused with oil. Light oil. Good oil for your skin. So when you wet it, it activates it. So you don't have to worry about them drying out the pads or whatever, the wipey. Okay, that's a good transition color. Now, what I told you, I'm going for blues, right? I'm all blue today, plus purple. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna choose a blue color. I'm gonna start with some turquoise. Of course, I love the turquoise color. By the way, I made this necklace. I didn't make these earrings. This is a squash. Squash Blossom Turquoise Necklace by Native American. Very beautiful. I love these areas. Anyway, I made I make jewelry besides I selling it or opening stuff. So if you ever want any custom jewelry, just let me know. I use real gemstones. Okay? Okay. Boy, I'm blabbermouth. <laughs> okay, let me find some turquoise. I want to, this palette does not have a turquoise. But I bet you this one does. Let me check. Then I will show you. 
when I find it. Oh yeah, I got me a turquoise. Now, this purple is broken. I don't know how it got broken, but right here on this one, next to this purple, this is turquoise. It may not look like it, but boy, is it turquoise. And I'm gonna use this right here. And I might mix some of this together. We'll see, just to go inside here to darken this up because I'm gonna love this with these. Okay, so let's see what happens. We are our own canvas. We are a beautiful blank canvas and every day we can create a masterpiece, okay? Every single day. This is our, our creator created this canvas. It's beautiful and every day we can be our own art. This is how you express yourself. Express yourself. Don't be afraid. <laughs> hey, if somebody gives you shit, give them the one gun salute, okay? For real. If anybody's offended, I'm sorry, but that's the way I feel. We work so hard, us mothers, women in general. And I'm not gonna put up with anybody's crap no more in my whole life. And I don't want y'all to either. We be strong. And I know y'all have friends. You have one friend at least that you can count on. Use that friend to talk it over with. Don't be depressed. Women are so much stronger than men. Sorry guys if you're watching. Y'all could not have a child. The pain would kill you. I promise. If you get a hangnail. You... <laughs> Is that not true? Okay, see this? Oh, I'm really digging this color right here. I'm going to put some more on. And I'm not being mean. I'm just being truthful. I'm being real. I lived too many years to be silly. I mean, not truthful. And that's so cool. Look at that. It's cha okay, the turquoise blue mixed with the pink. Well, the other three colors I have on my transition. It got this this color going on right here. Well, I'm looking in the oh man. That's cool, but I still want some turquoise. Maybe I'll get the shimmer of the turquoise and put that right here. Haha. -ha. This is a really pretty color, y'all. Can you see this? I really, really dig this color. And I'm mixing two or three colors, okay? Like I said, I I got the turquoise and the other greenish one in there, and I got them on the brush, but they're turning this blue lavender color. Oh, man. I'm trying to get some green in there for you, Leanna, and some blue. But they're, <laughs> it's doing what it wants to do. I'm gonna pull this out extra today. Trying to resemble dragonfly wings. I know I'm not gonna hit it like she did, but I will try. Let me try this. I'm gonna try to do this. There's a turquoise uh, shimmer right here. Where you go? Oh, I don't think that. that when it it shifts, I don't know about this one right here. Mm, let me look at one other. I want to get a turquoise in there to show because that's what I want. So, and it, I would like it more uh, actual turquoise, like the color in the rainbow. No, I just don't have one. Milani, let's see. Nope, there's more purple. I gotta get some gold in there too. Man, 
Yep, I got me some turquoise right here. Okay, this right here. This is the shimmer, okay? I could put up top of this one. So I'm gonna try to put that right here. Now see, against the purple, it looks green. Check it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, this one right here is more blue, I think. So I'm gonna try that on top. This is really, really, really pretty. And I got some on me. Well, I get on me. Okay. I always keep these around for these occasions. Okay. Okay, let me try this one on this side. And this one. I'm gonna do this one and this one, okay? I did that with my finger on the other on the other eye. Oh yeah. Okay. Same same. Okay. Now I'm gonna put something in here. And I think I might put the gold right here and here. I'm gonna look for some lighter color here to pop my eyes, but I'm still be dragging this stuff out here because I really hot dragon. I still want to have elongated eyes to make my wing effect. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to do the beautiful artwork that she did, but I gotta try. I'm gonna squeeze the tip of this brush and make a line like that, you see? It's like a liner. I just don't want to change brushes. So I'm going in here. And I'm going to make a line. This is so pretty. Holy mackerel. Wow. And I'm going to do under color, under my eye color also. Never fear. Man, I need some more eye drops. That stuff in there was like, I swear. Anybody watch Hoarders? Let me see what Milani got over here. Because I think she's got some gold. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty. That's not a shimmer, I don't think. My husband's getting me lights here, surely. I can't deal with these lights because I can't see. It's, and I know that you can't see very well either. There's a light behind me. I think we would have put 100 watt bulbs over there and bring some here and some here. I keep saying that, but whatever. Let me try. I have a cloth down here that I wipe my hands on. Okay, there, finally. I'm gonna try this one on here. Well, that's a color shifter. Look at that. Ew, look what it did. It's so weird. I'm gonna put my favorite, oh, it's so creamy. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try this one right here.
Can you see me? Okay. I don't know about that yet, but it sure is colorful in the mirror. I gotta blend still. And I have to put color under. I'm gonna start with a dark one. I'll start with a dark color here, always, and I'll pull it out, way out, way out. Today I'm going to go way out. Because maybe I can make a wig. Dark color first, and then on top of the dark color, I'm going to put some little glittery things over here that I find on the shimmers, okay? I'm still using the same palettes. I'll show you what I do. I'm going to try to get me... black okay I'm gonna take that same little liner brush ain't that funny <clears throat> well it has disappeared so that's cool I will just use another one. I can adapt. <laughs> like the one from the spoolie. Okay. This is a, is a liner brush. It has an angle. So I'm going into Fierce and Wild again. Yeah, no, that's not. It's Hot Heat. This is black right here. It's supposed to be black. I always think they're blacks mixed with purple. That's just me though. So I'm going to go into here and I'll make me some black where to go? Black. Maybe with some, a little bit of blue. Let me see, see. I got to do this over here, y'all. Otherwise, I won't have it all everywhere. That's a good black. If I wet my brush, it would be more like an eyeliner, but didn't bring my setting spray in here. Nuts. Okay, so I'm pulling it out this way. I'm extending it way out this time. Usually I go up, but today I'm going out because I'm trying to imitate a wing. Okay. I think the shimmer that I put on my eye is too yellowish. I don't do good with yellows. So I'm gonna go over top with something that's more pinkish. You see? That's just my opinion. But for me, yellow stuff, my mother said that because of my horoscope, that orange and yellow are my color because I'm a Leo. Well, I can't stand either one of those colors on me. On me. My mother wore them beautifully. And she was a uh, Libra. But she always wore yellow and orange. She was always just bright and happy, lovely. Woman. So intelligent. So I pulled this way out today. Okay, this is not my normal thing, but I'm doing a look. I say that a lot, but our generation invented that word, so I can. And gnarly and bitchin' and all kinds of other stuff. I'm still pulling out because I want it to be more exaggerated. So, because the wing is going to go like this and out like that. Well, actually, my eyebrow will be. Well, I never used this before for my eyebrows, but <laughs> that worked really nice. Okay, let me do that one more time over here. I hope you can see. I really do.
I want you all to know that you can do this, okay? Like in your house. You want to paint a wall. And you spend months and months and months with samples and all kinds of crazy stuff. And you put samples up on the wall and you're so scared you're going to... You can't ruin it. Because it's paint. So you take the roll and you paint over it. So again, it's just like your face. If you don't like the way your makeup came out, wipe it off. Start over. Don't be afraid. It's just makeup. And with your house, it's just paint, okay? For real. Don't be afraid. It's not It's not a tattoo. I'm not saying anything bad about tattoos, but tattoos are kind of perfect, permanent, you know? This is not. Only if you want it to be. You can get your... I've seen people have tattooed eyebrows. Oh, macro. I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff. Hey, whatever blows your skirt up, girls... I'm down with it. See, I could say that stuff too, you know? Okay, so I just went in here and made a line out here. And just because I want to. Okay. What I do with my face. Gotta be careful. I put too much on here. Okay, us with the crepies, if you pull it too hard, you're gonna drag it. It'll go like that, so you gotta be easy. Okay, there. It'll all get blended after. You put everything on. <clears throat> now I'm going to use <clears throat> the green color next to the, the black. <clears throat> this one right here. It's really hard to show because this purple busted. It's right here in your hot heat palette. I'm gonna put some of that and some of this sparklies over the liner on the bottom, okay? Let's see what happens. Ew. It's very peacocky, me likey. Also, dragonfly -y. e. It looks different in the magnifying mirror than it does in the mirror straight ahead. I'm sorry, I'm looking in the mirror. Now I turn it sideways. And this part I can drag because it's not crepey. Yeah? <laughs> My husband's gonna go, what in the world? That's okay. He knows he better not say nothing. He has to sleep sometime, right? Only kidding. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Now, I gotta blend. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I still got yucky stuff everywhere. We gotta go back next weekend, and the next weekend, and the next weekend. Oh, God. So I'm blending all this stuff. I'm trying not to be muddy. Another hair has found its way into my face. Woo! This is so fun. Okay, I definitely gotta find a uh, pink-ish shimmer for right here. I don't like the yellowish on there. This is fun. Okay. Let me look in Milani again. No, they didn't have pinky. A pinky shimmer. <clears throat> this is blue. <clears throat> this is Baroque. No. It's called Ritzy. I don't know. I, 
I'm going to put it on there. Oh, wait. Let me try this one, too. And secrets. I'm going to mix them together and see what happens. I toned that down, but it didn't do pink. It just it covered up the. Hmm. I'm getting mud. Okay. Let me try one more time to find a pink, a pink shimmer type I think maybe in this first one yep right here is a pink shimmer right here and this one is fierce and wild okay right here is a pink shimmer so I think this would be cool over there let's try with my finger I just go in to that color right here. That's it. That's one. Okay. And see, I didn't even wipe it off. It's not getting muddy on me. I still see the the gradation in color. Okay, I've got a pink shimmer here on top of all those other ones. Pink shimmer. Then I got the blue peacocky looking color, lavender, pink, green out here, black over here. That's the one. Okay. For my skin tone, I think that's the one. I could be wrong, you know? But when you, you got like, I'm doing this on the fly, have no edit button, so. And I can't erase and start over because it's a lot of time. So, okay, let's see what happens when I do this now. I'll blend one more time. And the remaining color is still on this brush. So it kind of goes everywhere, but it kind of makes it so it's more even. I really like that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to shut the palettes for right now. I might go back in. That's my mirror shaking. Okay. I'm going to do my lipstick. Remember, this is from 1972 eyebrow pencil. Okay. I think it's CoverGirl. It has a gold tube. I mean, thing. This thing. I don't even know what's under there. Oh, a little smudger. <laughs> this is what I do. This, when you're young, you have this. Okay. People get fillers to get this look. When you get a facelift, they cut your hair here and they pull it up. This is gonna make my lip, top lip, fuller, and this fuller, I'll get a more pouty look. I'll show you how. Quit. Okay. I spread my mouth completely out because I have lines from smoking, all right? Here. Here. I'm right-handed. That's where I smoke. I quit two years ago. I made kind of an X right here. I'm pushing hard with the pencil so it gets in these freaking craters from the lines. And then I go under here. Do you see the difference already? Mm -hmm. I do. If I get any more hair on my mustache, I'm just going to hire somebody to live here and peel me and wax me every day. Oh, my God. Hey, it's great to have a lot of hair, but then you get lots of hairs where you don't want them. Okay. Now, I take my favorite 
in the world lip pencil, which is wet and wild. This color stays on forever underneath my lip color for real. It's a wind up. I love these. Okay, I'm gonna go over the same line I just put on with the eyebrow pencil, okay? The same one. Okay, then I put my lipstick on. I might use uh, Huda Beauty's uh, Lippy like I did the other day for the magenta deal. I really like that. It stayed on and I didn't have to put any um, gloss on. I think you're supposed to. I'm not sure. I just bought the Lippy. So we'll see. So look at it in my eyes. I'm going to put my liner on. Wait, I'm going to put my lipstick on first. I like this color a lot. This is beautiful. All her products are just outstanding. So, I mean, I'm a huge fan of this woman. Oh, maybe I could tell you what color it is. Wait, I know a better thing. This is probably bigger writing. No. Not even. This is the package it comes in. I love this. Oh, okay. It's oh yeah, right. It's called Trophy Wife. Yeah, <laughs> I like that name. It's funny. Okay, I'll put this on. It comes with a doe foot applicator. It goes on excellent. It's perfect. Okay, let's tell you something. With a lip stain, do not put your lips together. Let it dry. The biggest reason people hate lip stains is because they go, mama, mm, 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 mm. like, like roll up lipstick. You can't do that. Once you lay it down, you put one coat and you leave it. Let it dry. Then you can put gloss or whatever, but do not mash your lips together. Okay? Promise. I love this color. <laughs> That's my skin right there. And you wonder why I keep tweezers in here. <sighs> okay. I got over all the lines too. Do you see the difference a little bit? I hope so. It's just a little trick. And you can't see. It's not like people are gonna go, oh, she went over the lines of her lip. <laughs> can't tell. Even in daylight. Okay, let me put liner on, then I'll decide on my... I love ColourPop liquid liner. My order has not come yet. This is black. I always use black eyeliner. Liquid. Okay? Always. Oh, but first, I must do this. Wrong one. No, wait. Yeah. Nope. That's the other liner. Let me see. Where is it? I have a liner pencil that I put up underneath my... Yeah, this one. This is by somebody... Oh yeah, Maybelline Blasting Tattoo Studio with this one. Okay. And I just under I do underline my eyes first. Then I put eyeliner. I, I like overdo everything. But that's I want it to stay on. I don't I don't like eyeliner that comes off. It drives me insane. It's really hard to redo your eyeliner once you've you're all dolled up, you know? Next time I do makeup, I'm going to try to do this trick where you put your eye makeup on first. Hmm. 
I never done that in my life. I do not know how you can get your, oh, and there's an eyelash. I do not know how you can get uh, your eye makeup on all the way up underneath your eye if you have eye makeup eye makeup already on. So that's something I have to learn and I'll learn by letting you watch. Oh, that was an eyelash. Here comes another one. Yeah. That's okay. I use eyelash uh, growth serum. It's called X Lash and it is wonderful. It's like it came from outer space and landed on this planet. <laughs> it really works actually. That's what it said it's supposed to do. So many products do not do anything except cost you a lot of money. But this, the X Lash, it does exactly what it says. Okay. Then I'm gonna put the eyeliner underneath my eyes on my, uh, what is it called, a water line, I guess you guys call. some more darkness over here, I guess, huh? Okay, liquid. Since I'm, I told you before, I was running out of the ColourPop. It still hasn't come. So I'm gonna use this first and then follow up with the ColourPop because it goes on so much better. This is now almost dry. And I really like the color. This doesn't have a ball to shake. The color pot one does. I find myself doing this anyway. I tilt the mirror up when I'm looking at my eyes so I can look down. It's just what I do. And I try to get as close to the lash line as possible. Because then I go wild after that. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. Then I go under. How can you do that, Miss Denise? 50 something years of practice. Oh, way more than that. Wait, 55? Oh, oh man. Then when I do my bottom ones, I look down more. They go on. Nothing's going to stay on your eye all day except for if you load it up with something and you pray. I put it under my eyelashes, over my eyelashes, everywhere, okay? And then sometimes I do that just because that's like a guide for when I do my wink. That's not my wink. But especially today, since I'm trying to do dragonfly, I'm going to have to put some on the lips. Hold on. I don't know if this is going to work over that, but I'm going to try. I think she has something to go on it. I'm gonna use this Maybelline 24 the Balm because they feel dry. I don't want to wipe it off and see it's coming off. Oh yeah, that's enough. Okay, and this one. No. Nope. One time, no, I know. In the magenta one video, I did this and it was fun. I'm fiddling with the plastic on the palette. I take Fierce and Wild, Fierce and Wild, the pink one again that I put on my eye, right here. I'm putting it in my finger. Then you have more pouty. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now, my other eyeball. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Today. But you can, I saw that you can fast forward through blah, blah, if you want. I really enjoy visiting with y'all. 
I'm just so excited about everybody coming to watch me. And um, I'm so grateful. See this thing. Yeah, many crickets. Okay, back to ColourPop. Here's a there's a little roller ball in there that makes the liquid. And I got another eyelash on me. Too many crickets. I thought summertime was the time we were supposed to shed. It possibly could be eyebrow. Okay, now for my fun part. I'm sorry I keep moving my hair. It's a pain in my butt, but I love it. I will never cut it. So. I just have to get it out of my way. When I do, usually I go right here, but I have I make it right there, so I'm gonna do this. Maybe I do this to spread it out because of the crepiness. Okay, one, two, three, four, three. Hardly see any of Jim. You just fill in. You make the line pull it towards you, and then pull it towards the center, and then fill it in. And if you make a boo boo, you take a Q-tip and go. Oh, let me wipe this off and put on some more. It's real easy. Never panic. It's just makeup. Just paint. I like it to go out more today because of Dragonfly Day. I do that. I have wings. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Yes, I am going to wear some fake eyelashes. I love fake eyelashes. I've always worn fake eyelashes. There was a time I didn't. I don't know when that is. No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have these blobs of glue right here, and that's because I start my eyelashes uh, glue on something because it'll squirt out. That's a tip. These are Wispies by somebody. I don't know what. They're really cute. I'm on my last ones. This is probably the last shot they're gonna get. I'm gonna have to get new ones. You could use these over and over again, as long as you take care of them. I put them back in the case every night and don't take the glue off so they'll stay in the tray right, right? And they're not flying around. That was a joke. <laughs> anyway, so right now I'm gonna take the glue off. It kept them stuck to the tray, you get me? Of course you get me. Take it off the glue, see? Take it off the glue, take it off the glue. I do clean up after myself. No worries. <laughs> other one, take them off at the same time. Then they get ready to get put on my mug. Okay, see, all right. Now, use black the black duo glue the bomb the best whatever you word you want to use i've been using this since it came out and before that it was the other kind the kiss or whoever made the first eyelashes 100 years ago i use that i use this now because it's black it looks like eyeliner so if you miss your eyeliner a little spot in your eyeliner it's filled in so there's always a residue on here I take it off to not interfere with the line I'm gonna make. And I make a little, I squeeze it from back here. In case there's people, hey, there's people out there that never wore false eyelashes in their life. I'm trying to help, okay? So you start from here and see there's a blob coming out. All right, so now I know it started. So I get my lash. Oh yeah, I gotta put my glasses. Always put your glasses if you don't wanna mess up. 
Okay? Here, my glasses. For, for eyelashes, I must wear my glasses. Ah, there's a little bit more glue on there too. You hold that lashes like this, you pull the glue off like that, all right? Okay. And still more. Okay. Okay. There we go. I start in the middle because I don't want to make a blob by the corner of my eye. That's the worst. So I start in the middle. I don't know if you're seeing this. Like this. And I go towards the edge of each side. I don't want it to come out like that. They get air bubbles in the tube. You gotta watch out. You want it closer to the top than underneath. You don't want them to stick to your eyelash, your real eyelashes. Okay, here we go. I get it like this. It's a little crooked from use, but I make it back here. I blow it on a little bit, let it get a little tacky. And get real close to the mirror. Hold it by the edge. There's some tweezers that you could use that form like an eyelash. I mean, uh, the, like the curvature of your eye. Eh? You could do that if you want to. I've never used them. I don't know how to do them. I'll try for you. See if I like it. Then I always take my tweezers or sharp or sharp or a sharp object, Jimmy Craig, and make sure that I have made contact with skin. Because you do not want to leave your house with your eyelashes not all way, all connected to your skin. Not your eyelashes, but your skin, okay? Would be a sad day. Is it pointy in? Let's make sure. All right, next. Back to glasses. You already saw this part. I'm doing this exact same thing, starting in the middle, pulling towards both ends so I don't get too much gloppy gloppy. There goes my glasses on the floor, but I don't need them anymore. And I just roll them. Okay. And I take it by the... You know, make sure you don't get any glue on your fingers. Because your eyelashes will stick to that, the fingers, and then pull them right on. Okay. Eye shape tweezer. That's what it's, I was trying to think of. That's what it looks like. It's a big tweezer like this, but it has an eye shape on it. Okay. And I think you could find it by where the eyelashes are sold in any drugstore, wild world, wherever you get your makeup. A lot of folks will tell you to put on a mascara first. If you don't, if you curl your eyelashes, you probably need to. I do not, just because I have a natural curl in them. If you curl your eyelashes, that's when you put your, um, your um, little bit of mascara on it. Scott Bourne says it makes a, like a shelf for your lashes to sit on. So I'm gonna use a itty bitty bit of this, which is probably upside down, yep. This is the best mascara I've ever found in my whole life because of the wand, the applicator. I take all this junk off. I hate gloppy mascara. Okay. If this is your first video, you could see, I hope you can see this. Wait, let me put this down. This thing right here, this little deal at the end, you see the little spikes? They get every lash that you have and you didn't even know you had, okay? It's so cool. So I will go underneath on my lashes right here just to connect them a little bit with the false eyelashes and if I want to accentuate the length of these lashes I will go on the tips because then I will look like a butterfly maybe a dragonfly kids have it and then down here 
Also, I'm gonna do both of them right now while you're watching. Okay, so I pull it a little bit. I just tap it like this. I'm not trying to make my my eyelashes. I just want them to touch the false eyelashes so it combines, right? And then I only go back in like this and I swirl it around. I just don't want to get too much. Okay. And probably because I'm doing a dragonfly look, I am going to be fluttery. So I think I will accentuate the length of these since it's the last ride for them. See this? Watch. Watch. Do this. And all of a sudden you can see they go way up in my eyebrow. Right up here. You just have to do that just a little, little, little bit. You don't got to have it all crazy floppy. See this eye? Hmm. Okay. And I just go back into the top part again. Do the same thing with this eye. Get my lower lashes. I use that serum in the day and the night. It says do it only at night, and that's the eyelash serum, X Lash. However, I use it uh, day and night. Why not? Never too much of a good thing, right? Then I'm going to do this. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'll be fluttered all over the place here. I know what is missing. Underneath this eye, I have shimmery blue. Underneath this one, I didn't get it on there. That's what's weird. So I'm gonna grab this palette real quick. I don't know. I think, I think it was hot heat. I'm gonna look. Okay, tweezers. Four for art, though. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm taking back to this brush. It's the eyebrow brush with this spoolie on it. I'm gonna fill this in right here with, see the shimmer in this eye? Right here, I'm gonna put it right there. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Just a little bit, but a little bit goes a long way because of the sparkles. Looks like I put glitter on there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I'm do extra. <laughs> I'm going to do extra. Wow. That's that turquoise feeling right there. Okay, this is gonna come out. I'm gonna play big time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's so much fun. I got a little fallout, but I don't care. That's the thing right here. Can you see? Here, here. I like it. This would be great at a night on the town. I'll tell you what, you light up uh, the room. But this is my dragonfly, okay? And I love it. The last thing I forgot to do was, see that? This is a mole. I was born with this. My pop said that's where God kissed me before he sent and sent me down to them. Kids made fun of me at school. I said, I don't care. God gave me that. And he did. And people go and have these things tattooed on. I just darken it up.
if you have it, why not have it? Okay. Okay, so one, two, three. Mm -mm. This thing drives me crazy. Okay, I wear bangs. They're there, some place. I like big hair. Always have. Always will. Okay. Hey, I'll give you a hint. See right here? I got roots, gray roots coming out real bad. So why oh, you squish my hair together like that? You can't see them. <laughs> Unless you're looking down. Okay, this is the look that I created for Miss Leanna's challenge. Her dragonfly, I tried to make my eyes come out like this, like wigs. I went way out of what I normally do. I hope these look like wings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for coming. God bless everybody. Muchas gracias para venir a mi video. Muchas gracias a llegar a mi canal. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna make another one tonight, but it's gonna be on jewelry. And I have a little surprises in the jewelry section. Sterling silver and goodies that I've been saving, okay? Make sure you check out Miss Leanna's channel. And, oh, I forgot. Smash the like button. Please subscribe. Do you know that only like 20% of people that watch videos, any videos, subscribe or smash the like button because they think it's going to cost them something. It doesn't cost anything. And it's a fun way to help my channel, help other channels. And we all grow together. And we have fun. So we can come back and have fun, okay? So, good night. Bye.